My lab, in collaboration with Dr. Ben Philpott's lab here at UNC, previously found that TOPY isomerase inhibitors can unsilence the paternal copy of UB3A. However, we also found that these drugs affect a number of other genes in neurons. My lab is going to use new technology called CRISPR-Cas9 and a new approach to unsilence UB3A. This new approach is called a genetic screen. We know that there are more than 20,000 genes in the human genome. This genetic screen will evaluate each of those genes to see if deletion of any of them can unsilence the paternal copy of UB3A. This novel approach has not been conducted before with neurons. In the end, we hope to have a comprehensive list of genes that can unsilence paternal UB3A with little to no impact on other genes. I'm excited to hear that the Angelman Syndrome Foundation decided to fund Dr. Zilka's recent proposal. Building on work uh, in which he and Dr. Ben Philpot showed that Topotecan could be used to turn on dad's copy of UBE3A, they reasoned that this approach uh, also turns on other genes. And so Dr. Zilka now is proposing to identify additional approaches to turn on dad's copy. This is important work to help us identify how dad's copy gets turned off in the first place, how dad's copy can then be reactivated in different ways, and hopefully these new ways of reactivation might be more specific and not have as many uh, off-target effects on other genes in the genome.